today I'm going to show you a few ways you can have AI join your group. The first way is we're going to edit the player and give him a variable name of P1, P for player. Hit OK. Next we're going to choose a rifleman and place him over here and make him face this direction. Then we're going to give him a variable name of S1, S for soldier. Next, place a trigger. So we're going to go to F3, triggers, choose a trigger without a size. We're going to put that in the middle and we're going to resize the trigger with the area widget. Then we're going to edit the trigger, make it a rectangle, and in the activation box, we're going to choose blue 4 and activation type is going to be present. In the on activation box, I'm going to give you a small code. This is going to be left square bracket, S1, right square bracket, space, join, P1, and then semicolon. All right, that's it for the code. So the AI soldier is named S1, and he's going to join the player, which is P1, and just hit OK. Now you have two options here. You could either have the player himself enter the trigger, and the AI will join you, or you can have the AI go through the trigger. So let's try both ways. So if I enter the trigger, two, join group. Ready. AI will join my group. If I were to give the AI soldier a waypoint, so if we click on him, hold down left shift, and then right click and give him a move waypoint, hit play. Two, join group. Ready. Either way works. The next way is a variation of the same code. So let's edit the trigger. And right here, we're going to adjust the code a little bit. We're going to remove that last part, and then we're going to put a left circular bracket, and then group, and then space, and then P1, and then right circular bracket, and then semicolon. Now the difference with this is AI soldier named S1 is going to join the group of P1 instead of just a player. In, in one way, it really makes no difference, but this is just another way to do it. So let's, let's test it out. Two, join group. Ready. All right, for this next method, I'm going to show you a couple of variations on this. We're going to delete the waypoint, and what we're going to do is we're going to create two more soldiers. Edit each one. I'm going to name this guy S2 and S3 and give all of them waypoints to go through the trigger. So these guys are going to go through the trigger. We're going to edit the trigger and we're going to adjust this code a little bit. So we're going to put P1 semicolon and then in the box here, the array, we're going to put a comma and then we're going to put S2 comma and then S3. So with this code in this array, it's going to have S1 and S2 and S3 join the player. You could enter the trigger yourself, provided it's on your side, and you'll the AI will still join you, or they can go through the trigger and they will join you. So let's test this out. Join group. Ready. Ready. All right, so now Ready. we have three AI under our command. The second variation to this is to do something like this, where We'll space these guys out like this. And then we'll make this a circle and we'll make the activation any player present. And what we'll do is we'll press control C to copy this. I'll put this around this guy and just expand it a little bit so that the player's got enough area to walk into the trigger. So we'll just move them over a little bit. So we'll edit this trigger. We'll actually remove these because this is S1 and you have S2. So we're going to copy this trigger and we'll paste it over here. We'll edit the trigger for this one. Name this S2 and we'll paste the trigger over here as well and name this S3 and that should work. So let's test that. 
All right, so if I enter S1's trigger. Two, join group. Ready. And if I enter S2's trigger. Three, join group. And if Ready. I S. Four, three, join group. Trigger, Ready. So now they'll be able to join my group. All right, this next method, we're going to delete these two. And then we're going to edit this trigger. I'm going to bring it out here a little bit. And we're going to edit the trigger. We're going to leave the activation for any player present. And then we're going to leave this code as is. And we're going to change the condition. So in the condition box, I'm going to give you guys a code. Left circular bracket, this right circular bracket, space and space, left squiggly bracket, S1 space in area with a capital A space this trigger with a capital T for trigger, right squiggly bracket, and then right curvy bracket. All right, so the point of this code is to basically check if this guy, which is the soldier one, if he is in a trigger. So I'll just hit OK. And we're going to actually copy this trigger. And just move it. And we're going to place the trigger in a few spots. Put one there and one here. Then we're going to go to F1 and then the props. Then we're going to type in cone. And we're going to place a road cone at these triggers so I know where they're at because you can't zoom in game. And that's it. All right, so the idea for this is kind of like a rescue mission. I actually did this in a mission, my ISIL foothold mission where in the mission I had to rescue a POW and he was randomly moved at various spots throughout the mission when the mission started. One of your objectives was to locate the POW. He was actually a scientist, but he was a POW because he was captured. At each building I searched, I had a trigger that would check to see if the player was there and if the scientist was in that trigger, then he would join your group and then you would basically take him back to base and then that would be the task. I had him set up with a task to where you had to rescue him. Let's check this out. So basically, the like as I said, the idea is to go to each cone and the, the trigger checks to see if S1, which is that guy, is present in the trigger and he's not. And if you go into his trigger, Two, join group. here he is. Let's say we had another unit and place them here. We edit, edit him and name him S2 and put him in, let's say, this trigger. And let's edit the trigger. We can name this S2 and S2 here. And let's say you have to rescue two guys. So let's try this. All right, so let's say I check this get this building. Let's say it was a building. The trigger's in a building. Nope, nobody here. Let's go to the next building. Two, join oh, group. Oh, we found Ready. we found uh, soldier two. Okay, let's go to this building. Nothing here. Let's go to this building. Three, oh, join group. We found Ready. soldier one. One more thing I want to show you is how to remove the AI that's joined your squad to remove them from your squad. So let's remove these two triggers plus the soldier. And we're going to use this trigger right here. We're going to edit it and make it a rectangle trigger. And we're going to put activation to anybody present. Then we're going to change the code. And in the condition box, we're going to put the following. We're going to put S1 space in this list and then semicolon and then in the activation, we're going to put, we're going to change the code a little bit. So we're going to put S1 as we have it. And then join silent with a capital S. And then space GRP for group. And then null will be capital N and then semicolon. All right, so basically what this is going to do is this trigger is going to check 
to see if S1, which is our soldier here, is in the list, which is basically the trigger. And then on the activation, it's going to tell S1 to join the group up null, which means it's basically opposite of joining the group. So we'll just hit OK, and then we're going to move this trigger so that it's over here. And we're going to resize it just big enough so that the AI can get into it. I'm going to move our player over here a little bit and move the cone so that we know where the trigger is at. Let's try that. All right, so we get the AI Two, join group. in our group. And then to remove him, obviously you, he could get killed somehow and he'll remove from your group. But if you wanted a situation where you want, let's say you rescued a POW or a scientist or some other civilian or something, and you part of a task was to have him leave your group and then that would complete the task, you could do that. So let's send them move up to the trigger. And there you go. And he removes from your group. I hope you find that useful and give you some options for your missions for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist.